What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Python to open and close a program. So this can be used for all kinds of different things. You can get it to open up a program and then maybe do something with that program. Um, or you can get it to just maybe be kind of like a batch file and so on. So there's obviously a bunch of reasons why you might want to do this and so I'm going to show you how. Only import that we're going to need is one that comes with your installation of Python and that's going to be OS so that we can do various commands. Basically OS gives you the command prompt. Next what we want to do is we're just going to define a function called open file. And within here it's always good to do the typical try and accept And in our try, what we're going to want to do is a very simple command. It's os.start file. And what file we want to start, well, you'll specify the path to that file. It just so happens that in the directory, I have a text file called openme.txt. And it's in the same directory as this Python script. So I'm just going to put openme.txt. Obviously, if it's in another directory, you'll want to give either you know the uh, ellipses and the slashes or just the full path. But in our case, it's in the same directory. So OS start file openme.txt. So let's go ahead and save that and run that real quick. Make sure that worked out for us. So I'll bring this over and open file. And here's the file that it got opened. This is test. Awesome grammar. Anyway, closing that out, cool. But what if we actually want to close that program, right? And in fact, let's uh, let me bring that back up. There it is. I'm going to put it, uh, I guess we'll just stick it over here for now. Now, how, what if we want to close that file? Well, it's a little bit different. Like, you can't close the file based on openme.txt. Um, and if someone wants to prove me wrong, uh, go ahead. But normally you need the, uh, the PID. But there is another way that you can do it, and I will show you that. So now, if you wanted to close that file, you can say define close file. And because, like, in the scenario of, like, notepad.exe, um, well, I'll talk about that in a second. So, again, uh, let's go ahead. I'm just going to copy and paste this, try and accept loop, so we don't have to do that again. Get rid of start file. And this time, what we want to do is os.system. And within here in the system, you can put uh, command prompt arguments, right? So, in here, we're going to say task kill, don't forget to make two K's there, it's pretty easy to miss a second K, and then slash F, slash I M, slash F means forcefully kill this task, and I M corresponds to image, and then you're going to specify that image name, which in our case will be notepad.exe. Now if you had like another program that was a different, you know, like like Notepad would correspond to any Notepad that's open. Or if you try to close like Chrome.exe or something, that would close all of the Chromes.exe. Similarly, you can throw like wildcarding in here, so you could say like this, right? And this would close every .exe that is running on your machine. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing it, but you could. So now let's bring back up Notepad, and this time it'll kill Notepad.exe. So now let's come down here and let's run this. And whenever I type in close file, you should see this area disappear. So let me bring this over a little bit. And we'll run close file. Boom. Forcefully close that B. So um, that is how you can open and close files within Python. Sorry you can't close it based on file name. That would be nice. But for a lot of instances, like if you're, if you're using like some sort of custom made a program or a program that isn't doesn't have like a bunch of instances up on your computer so generally you're probably not using Python to open and close notepad files you're using it on, with a specific program so it shouldn't become an issue but just keep that in mind it's gonna close you know all of the notepads so uh, with that that's gonna conclude the how to run programs within Python uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support the subscriptions and until next time